is our welcome screen. Um, this is this is reflecting uh, the some information about the, the way the user is using the services. So this is a, 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 a way in which uh, the number of tweets, for example, are being displayed. This is this could just as easily be the number of emails sent or the number of calls made. But it's a it's a very beautiful way in which we're allowing users to. Um, show something, have something distinctive about the way in which their, their services are being displayed. The other thing to say is that we're using all four edges of the phone screen, so there are no hard keys or, or soft keys associated with this, uh, this service. So by swiping immediately from the left, we've got uh, easy access to the full range of applications that the user um, needs access to most frequently. In order to go into the system itself, we swipe across into from, from the right. And here we can see that from our home screen, we've got a number of different UI elements associated with all the services that the user wants to um, gain access to. By going across to our people end, we've got full, uh, what's shown here is all the activity associated with each of the contacts in, in, in the address book. So by clicking on uh, Florian, for example, um, I've got full integration with um, all the social networking services. So I can go straight on, tip on, click onto there, and go straight into Florian's uh, Facebook profile, for example. So it's got full social network integration associated with um, uh, with the address book contacts. In terms of apps, again, we've got a dedicated part of the UI which we're um, making available for showing different applications that, are, that are, um, have been installed. Um, now talk to me a quick second about the app. So mm -hmm. it's, it's obviously it's, it's Linux based on uh, Ubuntu, right? Yeah. So the, the apps are all Linux apps, but are they also Android apps? No. They're not using the Java compiler no. at all. It's all no, no, pure. No, this, this is all native. Yeah. yeah. So as well as um, native applications, we've also, got, we've also got some web apps here as well. So you can see Facebook, that's a, that's a web application. So on Ubuntu, we treat web applications in a native way. So we can give them equal standing or equal profile alongside native applications. So are they based on HTML5 or they, other web standards? Uh, they're based on HTML. We support HTML5. That's a very important um, part of application development we want to encourage people to use on, on Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. um, so any HTML5 developer that's developing applications today um, can also include Ubuntu as um, their range of platforms that will support those, support those services. Um, the other interesting thing about this part of the UI is that we're allowing service partners to showcase applications that they feel they would want to establish profile with, the, with their user base. So for example, um, as well as applications that are installed, there's also applications that are able to download. So these could be applications that are branded to a particular service provider. <clears throat> and why this is different is because on more conventional operating systems, the user would have to gain access and download applications through an application store. So we're allowing um, certain parts of the UI to be customized for service providers so they can um, give prominence and profile to services that they want to really promote it to their user base. Sure. Um, by using the top edge, we've got access to a full range of settings plus uh, a messaging menu. So this is giving a full history of all the messaging activity that's taken place within, in the address book. Um, so for there, I've got a, uh, an email so I can, I can reply instantly to that particular person. Um, and, and similarly go into any number of um, the contacts and just respond directly to uh, uh, to that particular message. So one of the one of the um, interesting native applications we've got running is a gallery application. So this is something that's designed very specifically. So this is, a, as I say, this is something that's a, one of the core applications of the, of the phone itself. So we can browse the different photo contents within within the gallery by date, um, or I can go across and see what photos were actually taken on that particular date. So it's got a very interesting kind of user experience that we feel is um, is very well designed. So by clicking on a certain um, uh, photo, I can now use the bottom edge swipe to access particular services that are now relevant to the application. So I can edit it, for example, or I can go into the sharing menu, and I've got instant access to a range of social network integration services that are relevant to that application. So with Ubuntu, we're using the bottom edge as a basis to allow 
the particular control features that are relevant for that application. So it is, if you like, you know, a way in which we're using all four edges of the phone in order to demonstrate a very unique way in which um, a, smart, a, a very unique smartphone experience. The final thing to show you is how we do multitasking. Um, so by going to the home menu, uh, just start off there. There may be a, um, I might want to swipe instantly into applications that are open, so I use the right edge in order to swipe through all the applications that um, I've got running. Currently open? Yeah, yeah. Which, of which there is one right now. But if I open another one, just to show you what I mean, um, I go into the um, notepads. So I can now swipe back into the gallery, um, I can swipe back into the uh, notepad, so okay. it's using that edge to do very, very quick, fast, easy multitasking. Cool. Um, I'm going to go back home, uh, just go straight back down there using the left edge. So now you guys are running this on what, a Galaxy Nexus? That's just a... This is just what we're, we're, we're prototyping on. Right, 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 right. Okay. Um, but it will be a fully open platform. Um, we aim to make the full code base available open source within the next few weeks. Okay. This, will give, this will give developers and uh, um, parts of the Ubuntu community straight access to getting hands-on with the code itself so they can, they, can, they can use it themselves and install it on a Galaxy Nexus. Okay.